make sure that the safety locks and wheel chocks are in position on the landing gear. Put warning notices on the free fall and landing gear control handles. Select the parking brake off. Put the jack in position. Make sure that the dome correctly engages. Lift the gear. Fully deflate the tire. Cut and remove the lock wire. Remove the three screws and washers and remove the hubcap. Remove the grommet and disconnect the TPIS sensor plug from the rotating transducer. Note that the sensor has to be removed from the wheel and refitted on the new wheel. Remove and discard the cotter pins. Remove the two locking nuts. Remove the axle nut with the torque adapter. Install the properly greased protection tool. Remove the wheel. Attach a correctly filled in label on it. Install the protection tool if removed. Correctly grease the axle. Install the wheel. Remove the protection tool. Install the nut. Adjust the torque meter to the pre-torque value and apply it to the nut while turning the wheel. Prevent the wheel from rotating and loosen the nut.
Adjust the torque meter to the correct value. Torque the nut. Tighten until the locking bolt holes are aligned. Install the locking bolt with the head of the screw facing the axle. Fit the washers and nuts. Safety the locking nuts with split pins. Connect the TPIS sensor to the rotating transducer. Reinstall the grommet. Put the hub cap in position. Install the three washers and screws. Safety the three screws with lock wire. Make sure that the working area is clean. Lower the gear the tire pressure being previously checked and adjusted. Carefully remove the jack from the dome. Put the chocks back in position. In the cockpit, remove the tag and close the TPIS circuit breaker. Remove the safety warnings. Select the wheels ECAM page. Check the pressure for correct indication.